Hello my little crones, my little munchkins, and my little chickens. How are you this glorious day? Well, I hope you're doing wonderful, fabulous, great, awesome, and all in between because I know I am. As for me, I'm a little tired. I had a very, very, very busy day today. Well, not the whole day, but just the morning and the afternoon, and it's evening, and I normally don't run late like this, but I I said I have to so I am but before I go to the brown round um, I've had several people ask me about Nicki Minaj but the main thing people wants to know is about um, Jennifer Hugh and they want to know what's going on in her life how she handling it I don't know if people care or if they don't care nevertheless she was the victim in all this and, um, and, and before I run cards, when I'm looking back on it, I see the circumstances of two teenage people. And they were kids. They were kids. That, that I, I, I really mean that. And he served four years. They were kids. Now, why the harassment came and all that, I think I know why we all know. Because of having to report that his circumstances and I'm sure that he didn't want to do it because it would expose where Nikki lives. That just makes sense to me. But nevertheless, none of us above the law. So she felt harassed and that is overall the story. Now, you want to know how she's doing. You want to know what's going on in her life, how she's doing, yada, yada, yada. Well, here we go. I just wanted to give you a synopsis of What's going on in that girl's life? Well, we see that um, she wants something done expeditiously because we definitely see... What are they? The Finks. The Chariot. The Chariot's about moving and getting things done. So... Five... What does that mean? Meaning that this just has been a lot of stress, a lot of friction going on. Someone looks like they're getting away with something. Either that's for good or for bad. Let's see what the next card falls out. Somebody. Oh. Here's a sword. Somebody right here, so someone's getting away with something or feel and running and getting away because they want to start in the beginning. I can see it. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to read it, but I'm just going to do them like this because I just want the cards to drop on their own. I see when they start their new beginning, they're going to have a very good time. They're going to have, find peace in their life. Again, this is somebody that is very strong and very nurturing. And also, this card also lets me know this is somebody who is, what's that word? Can be very, very cold. They could be cold. Like, when they when they done, they could be cold, but they're nurturing all at the same time. You know how someone that could come off as very loving, but they could be very cold and distant when something is done to them or if they want to make a sound or they want you to know where they're coming from. I hope that helps. So right now, there's a lot of whole cold and I also see a little heat, a little friction with this too. I see that there's some heat and that there, 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 there's, but it's more cold here. It's more cold. So how she's feeling about, someone asked about how she feel about their marriage or something. I really don't think that she care about their marriage. I think that this seems like a person, from what I'm looking at, that they just done been through so much crap with this that they just want to just move on, get on with their lives. This is what this is what she wants. But now I want to run one more card, and that is the outcome. And what I want to 
but I do. Okay, now I want to run one more because this is my eight. I'm going to do a nine card spread. So let's see what's going on. Come on, fall for me. Just the um, these bracelets are so loud. Just the um, give me a sec. They gotta fall sometimes. Crossroad and okay emotions. So what I see, I see this is somebody that's cold and distant in this about this whole thing that's going on around her. Babe, you need me to pull up the cards or don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Well I'm gonna do a general I'm just gonna say this and I'm gonna pull up the cards, okay? All right. We just got a whole new camera and we're moving up. So we're trying to work out the kinks. So be patient with us. Thank you so much. So anyway, this is, um, get back. This is about Jennifer Hugh and this is about her read. What I see in her read in an overall view. This, <clears throat> this is someone that just wants this stuff out of her life. She just wanted to be gone from her. This is something that has affected her and this is something that she has walked with Carrie. She feels that she, she, she feels like she just, you know how you just want everything done? She feels like this has consumed her life. Like it has consumed her. That she has walked with it, slept with it, drunk with it, all of this, all of these emotions. She just ready to put this thing to bed. Now, when I look at the chariots, the chariots let me know that, need my little pointer. The chariot let me know that they, she's ready to move on. She's ready to move on. She's ready for this case to be. She's tired of the friction. She's tired of the... Taught of the friction, taught of the fighting. She just, I don't even think that they really talk. Everything that she does, I'm sure it's done with her lawyer. I just know she's ready to get back. But I'm, I'm getting this sense that, that there's money involved. And I don't know if there's a settlement or something that they could work out. I don't know. But one thing is for sure is that somebody... She just wants justice. She feels like she was mistreated. She want him to move on. She wants this out of her life. There's a lot of confusion right now. But she's just trying to be level-headed. She's trying to be cool about things. She's trying to just... This has been long and drawn out. This is something ever since 1994. This is how old this is. So... You know, she just wants to be happy. This thing has drowned her, stole her life. And, you know, she just wants justice. I do think that there may be an offering or a settlement. I have no idea. But I know that she's sick of it. She's tired. She's ready to move on with her life. She's ready to move on. This has been a nightmare. This is something that this woman has walked with. This is something that, and you know what, and I'm really just reading the cards and I'm being objective. But as I read these cards, I'm telling you, the sentiment that I get is that this is old. Like, this is so old and this has been so much a part of my life. It's like, I just want it done. It's like this is a crossroad. It's like she feels like, you know what, I've been taunted by the devil. She sees them as devils. And she just said, look, I just want out. I want free. I want them to leave me alone. I don't want no parts of this. I just want to go on with my life. She wants justice. She'll sleep when there's justice. She'll rest when there's justice. 
She, from what I'm getting, I, I don't know the ins and out of the story, but what I'm getting, she was afraid. They must have really, really frightened her or bullied her. I don't know because here again, I see that there's a lot of emotions going on. So I don't know what the petties did, but I see that this they, she wants justice. She feel that he mistreated her. He, she feel it. It feels like she's been bullied, and she feels like I didn't know what else to do. So I just had to go to the law and stand up for myself. This is what this feels like. I just went to the law and I just stood up for myself because she was really scared. And as you see, this thing has mentally. You see that thing around her head? She was. She took a psychic blow with this. I hope that she can move on. I hope that she can love again. This is a lot of her life. This was a lot of deception. There was a lot of lies. This was a this has been a crossroad. She wants justice. She just emotional. She just wants this over. This is all I feel. Like this has consumed her life. I don't this is how I feel like this. That's, that's how I feel. And I normally don't feel heavy, but this just makes me feel heavy and feel like this has consumed her. It has eaten up her life and she wants it gone. She wants her life back. She want to smile again. I hear my spirit saying, I'm too young to be feeling like this. Bogged down, worry, scared of them. What they gonna do to me? I'm getting a feeling like she felt like they gonna take her life. This is horrible. Whether this is true or not, I have no idea. I'm just reading cards. This is a number five. This is a number five. So five's a friction. And here, I see she's just trying. Like I'm just trying to get away. I'm just going to try to get what I can and get up out of here. Looking back. Wanting to move on. But never knowing what's going to come out of the dark to get here. This has been a trying time for her. And I don't know what you all expected to get out of this reading. But this is what I get out of the reading. I get someone that says, I want out, I'm tired, and I want to get on with my life and try to salvage it the best way I can. I'm a young woman overall, but I feel old, and I just want this behind me. And like I said, she just wants everything to be over and done. You know, would she be happy if he was arrested or doing time? I'm sure she would. I'm sure she would be very, very happy if he did time. But more than that, I think this woman just want free. She just want free. You know, this seems like somebody that don't even want to hurt anybody. It seemed like it's just that she felt like she didn't know what else to do. Could she have done something? If I say any more, then I'll just be trying to pick sides. I don't want to pick sides. I just want, I just believe truth always will, will prevail. So this is somebody who, yeah, she wants, she wants justice. She feels as though they bullied her, threatened her. You know, they scared her. And now that it's over, she just went free and she went out. And she just want all of this behind her. She want to go on with her life. But guess what? So does Kenneth Petty. So does Nicki Minaj. They want free. And they want it all to be done with too. So with that being said, I just see somebody just caught up in circumstances. Just the, just the, just the girl. Just like you, just like me, who go through issues. So, whatever's going on in her life, I wish her nothing but the best. 
and I hope that she can get over it. No matter what happened to Kenna, I hope that she can get over this, put this behind her, and move on. And I hope that the petties can do the same, and not in spite of which way it all goes. Well, anyway, that is my reading. I hope you enjoyed it. That is for the, you know, for my little crones, my little chickens, and my little munchkins, and the person that I read for. I don't know her name, but I would put it here, but it was a lot. So, and I had a couple. So to all of you who wanted me to read about um, Jennifer Hugh, is her name Jennifer Hugh? I did. And if you said, well, read on Nikki, I did. If you say read on Kenna, I did. So I just wish them all nothing but peace. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And I'll be back in a bit, in a few hours, or maybe maybe later on a day. Or maybe early in the morning. I don't know. But I will be doing the brown round. You know, what is that? Where we sit at the table and we just give our opinions about what's the news of the week. And we just voice our opinion and let you voice yours. Well, anyway, hope to see you soon. Hang in there. Love you. Mm. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you see it. And I will be back to do the brown round. Ciao.